Hi guys, my name is Srikanth Ridham. Today I am going to show you how to create S3 bucket with version enabling. Okay, once you log in into your AWS account, click on services, select S3 under storage. Now click on create a bucket. The bucket name must be unique. So we are going to create a new bucket. So here you can select the region. I'm going to select US East. We are going to block all public access. Bucket versioning. It is disabled here. You can enable it later. Click on create bucket. Okay. Now we are going to upload file. So before we upload file, we have to enable the versioning. Click on properties. Scroll down. Now click on edit. So once you enable uh, bucket versioning on the bucket, you cannot disable it. Okay? You have only two options: either suspend or enable it. Okay? We will click on enable. Save changes. Click on objects. We are going to create a new file here. Test bucket. Yeah, we can use this file. Test bucket one. Close this file. Save. Minimize this window. Click on upload. Add file. Select the file. Upload. So permissions. Make it public. Not required now. So we will see the file. Let's see the content of this file. Click select the file and click on open. Now let's modify the file again. Close it. Upload the same file again. So here you will not have two files. You will have two versions of the same file. Save it. Now close this. Now you can find a single file with two versions. Select the file and click on show versions. Here it is. The latest file will be shown on top. You can see the dates here. If you want to view the content of the last file, select the file and click on open. Test bucket one. If you want to view the content of the latest file, select it. Click on open. Mm -hmm. So what we will do is we will delete the file. Click on delete. Okay. Now in the bucket you cannot find your file, you cannot find your object. So now click on the show versions, you can find files here. So for the latest file it will always show delete marker. Okay. If you want to restore it, here you will not have option called restore, you will have an option called delete. A delete from the version file. Okay. Select the latest file, click on delete. Now delete objects. Okay, now click on source. We 
are able to successfully restore the file now let's see so what do you think uh, what will be the version of the file it will be the first one or the second one that's right we will have the latest one select the file click on open again there you go so if you want to disable the versioning you cannot do it you can only suspend it click on edit again suspend okay you can suspend it for few days again if you want to enable it you have to click on enable also you cannot delete the bucket directly you have to empty the content select let's see what will happen if i going if i'm going to delete the bucket select the bucket click on delete this bucket is not empty even if you have a versions different versions of the file you need to delete it first okay show versions select all the files click on delete Now let's try deleting the bucket. So we are able to delete the bucket successfully. Currently there are no buckets. So this is how you create a bucket with version enabling and delete the file. So when you delete the recent file you will have a delete marker tagged to it okay thank you for watching guys meet you in next class thank you